Hi, and welcome to the Wood Shop, everybody. So, um, the Dash, Triumph Herald Dash, the Cutworm Project, um, is just, is complete. And something came up in the midst of me working on this, and I was focused on working on this, and I did not take any video of it. Uh, when I last left you on this, on number two, video number two was... I had done the epoxy, I had filled in the holes, um, prepared for veneer. Okay, so let me catch you up on, I can tell you basically what, I can tell you what I did. And, uh, but anyway, I apologize for not getting any footage of that. But um, anyway, I'll just, let me just show you. Okay, so first thing I need to tell you about is the veneer. Now, this veneer is walnut. And from what I could tell, and from the grain that was on there, it looked like walnut to me. So that's what we decided to go with. Cutworm and I decided, or I pretty much decided, but he said it was okay with him. Went with veneer. Okay. There are three basic types of veneer. Wood veneer. One is the natural wood veneer. That's basically like where they put the log on a lathe, more or less like a lathe, and they shear off, like kind of like sharpening a pencil, but all the way across and they get the veneer okay and that's a natural it's, it's got no backing the next kind is this kind that i hold in my hand which is 10 mil veneer with a paper backing that has been permanently fused to the back so i don't look at this this is just some something on there and that's the back so this is 10 mil the next kind is called psa pressure sensitive sensitive adhesive and it actually has a more or less a peel and stick application. Okay, I chose this one because I knew I had some imperfections in the dash, and I knew I needed something a little bit thicker to go over those. And also, you don't get bleed through with the method that I used to adhere it. Most of the time, with a with a non paper back, you have to use contact. If he's generally contact cement generally okay but I chose to use the wood glue method and basically what I did was I applied a very super thin coat on both surfaces but even coat on both surfaces and I married those together there are like tons of different ways to do this this is the one that I chose so this is water resistant interior exterior tight bond to wood glue okay then after it was dried and I pressed it down, it stayed about uh, over 24 hours um, and I was pretty sure it was dry. I stained it with Minwax Dark Walnut Stain. Okay, this is oil based. Okay, then I started the process of top coating it with this Minwax Helmsman Spar Urethane. Okay, clear gloss. Okay, so that's what I did. That's the process that I went through. And then, of course, I had to cut the holes out. And I used the Dan Electro method, and I just used an X-Acto knife. Um, there are some other ways to do it, but that's the way I did it. Okay, so you can see, there she is. It's kind of hard to see the color. You can kind of see the brown there. Okay, this surface was not completely flat. i just go ahead and tell you. And I, I worked hard to get it flat. But it's not completely flat, but it is stuck down excellent. I had excellent adhesion to this um, with no problems, okay? And um, you can see the thing is here. I did not veneer the back of the dash, uh, the back of the um, glove box, excuse me. I did paint the back, okay? Um, but I did not do the back of the glove box. Um, it seemed like to me it was just another place for something to fail if it was going to fail. And so I thought, why well, just paint it and that way the whole back's the same color. So that's what I did. Um, so that's what I did. So this is going to have to dry for several days before I package it up because um, if you know anything about spar urethane or anything, I mean, I know you guys talk about clear coat. Uh, it takes a long time for that to dry because you could really push your thumb into it and it, would, it might go. But anyway, and I've got... Um, Got Steve's um, uh, gauges and the stuffy bits he sent me along with that. And of course, I had to put my stencil on there. Um, but anyway, there it is. And um, 
I appreciate the positive feedback and the comments on this and um, I uh, really do appreciate Steve giving me an opportunity to work on this. And um, so there you go. Done. Just got to send it back. So anyway, thanks for stopping by the wood shop. Take it easy.